Okay, biology class, welcome back. Video 4, section 9-1. <clears throat> now we're going to learn a little bit about something called the lactic acid fermentation. In many cells, pyruvic acid, the pyruvic acid that accumulates as a result of glycolysis, can be converted to lactic acid. Because this type of fermentation produces lactic acid, it is called lactic acid fermentation. This process regenerates NAD+. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that glycolysis can continue, as shown in Figure 9-4. And so here's 9-4, and right here is glycolysis. I'm going to draw a little box around it. And what's happening is you're getting two ATP out of the mix. You're also getting two NADH in out of the mix too. However, um, <clears throat> if you don't have oxygen, you can't do the Krebs cycle or electron transport chain, which means the NADH has is just going to fill up. You're going to run out of stuff to do. <clears throat> so you have to have some reason to get NA, some way to get NADH back to NAD+. And the way you do that is lactic acid fermentation. So basically it's pyruvic acid plus NADH goes to lactic acid plus NAD+. Notice there is no ATP here. So all that energy left in pyruvic acid isn't used. It's wasteful. And that's why it, the body only does it when it doesn't have oxygen. Lactic acid is produced in your muscles during rapid exercise when the body cannot supply enough oxygen to the tissues. Without enough oxygen, the body is not able to produce all of the ATP that is required. When you exercise vigorously by running, swimming, or riding a bicycle as fast as you can, the large muscles of your arms and legs quickly run out of oxygen. Your muscle cells rapidly begin to produce ATP by lactic acid fermentation. The buildup of lactic acid causes painful burning sensation. This is why muscles may feel sore after only a few seconds of intense activity. Unicellular organisms, what does that mean? that means organisms that are one cell, bacteria basically, also produce lactic acid as a waste product during fermentation. For example, prokaryotes, remember that vocab word? Different than eukaryotes, uh, are used in the reproduction, sorry, in the production of a wide variety of foods and beverages, such as cheese, yogurt, butter, buttermilk, and sour cream. Pickles, sauerkraut, and kimchi are also produced using lactic acid fermentation. So yeah, rock on. Lactic acid fermentation. The lactic acid is valuable, but in our muscles it hurts. In milk, it turns into cheese or yogurt or sour cream, depending on the particular variety of bacteria or prokaryote in, uh, in the mix. <clears throat> All right, class. So, in overview, what did I want you to learn? I wanted you to learn that cellular respiration <clears throat> has three steps. One is called glycolysis. Glycolysis. Okay, I spelled it wrong. Sorry about that. Glycolysis. And that does not require oxygen. However, if you have oxygen, you go to Krebs and electron transport chain. But if you don't have oxygen, let's say O2, and if you have no O2, then you do fermentation. Now, fermentation itself is not a very efficient way of producing energy, and so that's why the body only does it when there's no oxygen. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> Please work on your section review questions. Get ready for quiz, quiz, quiz -a -roo on our next class period. And remember, this is Mr. Worley saying I love you, and so does God. All right, take it easy. Peace out.